Hello everyone. Welcome to the algorithm series. In this video, we are going to solve the factorial problem. The problem where you have to get a number from the user and display its factorial. The program will run something like this. When you run it, it will say enter a number. The user enters 4 and the output is 4 factorial is equal to 24. Alright, so to solve this problem, first we will understand what is a factorial of a number. When you say 4 factorial, which is written like this, is basically you multiply the number with its previous number. So here what actually happens is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Something like this process gets executed. If I say I want to find 5 factorial, it means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So to find a factorial of a number, what you actually do is starting from the number you start multiplying with a previous number that is n into n minus 1 and this process keeps on repeating unless you reach to 1. So to find 4 factorial this is the process actually we have to execute. So for example if we take n is equal to 4 for which we need to find a factorial and the multiplication goes till the end we can write the pseudocode something like this. So now we take two variables here one is factorial and the second is n. n is the number for which we want to find the factorial. We say n is equal to 4 to 1 I will say step minus 1 this is the pattern of pseudocode whichever language you use you are going to decrement the value accordingly but when we write pseudocode we use this syntax. So here factorial is initialized with 1. Now let's dry run this let's check step by step and let's check the output table also. At the moment in the output table as you can see factorial is 1 and n is 4. Now the next step is factorial into n this step gets executed. That means 1 into 4 and the result is stored into factorial. So now in this table the factorial's value is updated. We keep the previous value and we add a new value here. So the, this table we are going to constantly watch. Now this factorial is 4. It goes on the for loop and n is decremented by 1. So n is 3 as you can see in the table and the factorial is 4. So we say 4 into 3. Now next step it will be 4 into 3 that means 12. So 12 is stored in the factorial. Again the factorial's value is updated in the table and n is also reduced by 1. So now factorial becomes 12 and n becomes 2. Again this process is going to repeat and the factorial will be factorial into n that is 12 into 2 it will be 24. Still n is 2 so factorial is 24 and n now gets decremented by 1 so n is 1 and when you say 24 into 1 it will be 24 only and at the end we just say print factorial this is how the factorial is achieved. You may also run this loop from 1 to 4. That's also fine. But ideally when we say 4 factorial, that means 4 into 2 into 3 into 1. If you say 5, that means you go till 1. From 5 to 1, that's why we are following this pattern. Otherwise, the same thing can be achieved with 1 to n. The loop starting with 1 and ends at n. That's also possible. There is also another way to find the factorial. We can write a recursive function. So now we have discussed how to achieve what can be the logic. Let's try to code this.
we are going to take n variable the way we have discussed in the pseudo code we'll say n is equal to of course we are going to convert that into number so first thing i'm going to write is parse int and then i will say enter a number we also take a variable called factorial where i'm going to assign one to it and let's put a for loop here now we do not need to initialize anything to n because we are taking the value from the user so i'll keep this blank so i'll put a semicolon for the initialization there is nothing to write here we are going to put a condition n is greater than equal to 1 and of course we want to minus the value of n and the way we wrote in the pseudo code we are going to say factorial is equal to factorial into n and at the end we just want to display console.log I would say factorial is equal to factorial I missed the prompt command here so let me write that now let's run this code is going to ask a number I'll say 4 and the output is 4 factorial let's run it again we try to find 5 factorial it says 120 so this is how you find a factorial of a number